than the man who joins us now, and that is the Ottawa Senators General Manager, Pierre Dorian. Thank you so much for doing this, Pierre. It's a pleasure to be here. And, and I know you were busy just a few minutes ago. You were outside the rink. You had a couple of tickets. And what, what did you do? You were looking for some fans to give them to. Yeah, we just saw a gentleman that uh, had a Senators jersey on, an old throwback uh, from, I think, from earlier days. And handed him two tickets and said uh, thank you for being a fan nice well that's always a good uh, a good thing to do now li listen a year ago you sat with ron uh, in o'leary pei it was very jovial conversation and there was a lot of promise you guys had just come off an eastern conference final situation how different would you compare the situation with your team now than, than a year ago oh it's uh, vastly different from a year ago obviously uh with uh, the trades of a few uh prominent players on our team uh, we're definitely heading towards a rebuild but we're excited to be heading towards a rebuild uh, the main reason we did it is over the course of the last five or six years since the lockout we've been always been in inconsistent and we just feel that for us to move forward we need to go through a rebuild we're showing Matt Duchesne on the screen after Carlson your two biggest roster decisions you have to make for the future are him and Mark Stone where do things stand with them right now well, with Mark, obviously, he's on a one-year contract for this year. We were close on having something long-term done uh, through the arbitration process, and we feel that we need key core veterans through this rebuild, and we'd like these two players to be part of it. Obviously, they have to want to be through the rebuild also, and they want to be in Ottawa, but both have indicated that they really like Ottawa, and uh, they're going to see how things go. And we, You know, we have a lot of faith that we can get something done along the way. With, with both of them? We hope so. Uh, listen, no team has really faced more criticism from their fan base over the last few months than you, and I know that's not news for you. But but if there's a message to the fans out there of the Ottawa Senators to try and gain their trust back, what's that message? We love our fans in Ottawa. We know that it's been, a, you know, the last year was not anything we expected. Have faith in us. Have faith in the plan that we're going to put forward. Have faith that we're going to rebuild properly with core veterans. Have faith that the young kids that we have, it's a group, a group of young kids that we've ever had in Ottawa for the last 10 years. We're going to put them in the lineup when they're ready to contribute. And no, no, on a personal note, no one cares more about the city of Ottawa. I'm from there, about the fans, the organization, and we're going to do what's right. And, you know, just have faith in us and we'll do, we'll do it accordingly and we'll do it properly. Some of the criticism was that Eric Carlson, one of the most dynamic players in the game, that some fans and maybe some media members felt you didn't receive enough in return. Can you describe the marketplace that existed for Eric Carlson? Well, there's obviously a marketplace for Eric Carlson, but, but at the same time, as we've seen, there was no contract in place for Eric to sign. You know, through this process, through the summer, uh, when we saw that we couldn't get to a contract agreement with Eric, we decided through the rebuild that he would be one of the pieces that we could get most for. Um, uh, Eric wasn't going to sign anywhere. Uh, so it's more of a rental type deal until a team can sign him. And that was the marketplace that was out there. And we just felt at that point in time that we're very happy with the return. And there weren't many teams that were ready to take that chance. So that really diminished the number of teams that were really interested in acquiring Eric Carlson. Pierre, my question is, is there any regret about not giving up the pick to Colorado now that you're going into this process? No, there's no regrets at all. It, when you, you're rebuilding and you get it to build with a cornerstone piece like Brady Kachuk, and we don't want to put too much pressure on him. He's only 19 years old yet, uh, two days ago. Uh, there's no hesitation. Uh, Brady brings the whole package. Uh, he comes from a hockey family. He He's such a dynamic personality and he's going to help us win games whether it's this year or in next year or 10 years down the road there's no doubt that for the this organization uh keeping the pick and picking brady kachuk uh, was a no-brainer 20 miles from here 20 kilometers from here i should say uh mm -hmm. there's a rink in london where he could play this year since we're in lucan and we're right nearby and there's a lot of knights fans here what are the chances that Brady Kachuk's going to be in London this season or in Ottawa? Uh, we'll see when we get after camp, we'll make a decision whether he stays or not. There's a lot of hypotheticals in there. You know, we, we don't know what the future will hold for Brady. But it, if we go based on first impressions, um, I would probably have to tell you that Brady has so far has played up to the level that we've expected of him. Pierre, what's the number one thing you're optimistic about in terms of the Ottawa Senators? We're a team. If you look at how the guys have reacted 
through all the adversity that we faced through the summer, through through trading our superstar defensemen. I think this group has responded well. We've had one of the greatest camps we've had and we're going to thrive as a team. And you know what, with that, and with the good group of young players we've got coming up, and the plan we've set in place, I really am looking for the future, for the positive future of this organization. Well, Pierre, we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much for doing this, and best of luck over the next couple of weeks figuring out your team moving forward. Thank you. All right, and one of the nice parts that uh, Pierre Dorian was talking about, Dylan DeMello is standing by with our Christine Simpson.